Okay, so um, I'm just going to call a close to the lo-fi lounge music just for a moment to just pay tribute to Next Decade, who decided to drop Oh no, not me, I never lost control Your face, to face With the man who shinned the world <laughs> Which is perfect, thank you Next Decade, that is a true gem and Leopard with MTG Revenge of the Shinobi. Let's get crack a lacking, shall we? Those of you who know, you, can't fight nature, you uh, you understand. Falls, Probably. You can piece together why we're here. Hang on a minute. For some reason, I wasn't able to start sprinting at the start, and I'm going to need to. Oh my honor! Sindaru! Okay, and we are back up to speed. We are back up to where we were at the end of last stream. Okay, that's. Uh, I, I think that's, uh, that's an invigorating start to get us back on track, right? Leopard, why? I'd rather be shinny. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. No, I kicked Monsoon, as I made the joke at the end of last stream. And my shoulder is bleeding again. Lovely. Oh, thanks for the medkit. Turbile says, I tried to play this once, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I mean, I I never thought I'd play this. And then... I, and then I realized that I could play it for suffering on stream, because I don't enjoy parrying. I can't manage it. And... Then inadvertently we discovered shin kicks and they are apparently the most overpowered thing in the world. There is nothing I can't shin kick apparently. Yeah, exactly. I, I came into this expecting to suffer, Phoenix Raider, and I ended up enjoying myself. This is completely backfired. You can't shin kick sadness. I will definitely bloody well try, Turbo Owl. Get back here. I'm not done kicking you yet. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I've completely lost the dog. Have a good one, Turbo. Enjoy your nap. Can't wait to see you try and beat Excelsius with shin kicks. <laughs> Titan, 
Downer contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. I am... I am looking forward to this, uh... This Excelsius or whatever it is that I'm expected to shin kick. I can't help but notice there's quite a lot of rocket launchers being given me for free. Um... I mean, there's a good few of them. I'm just saying. I feel like that one Gandalf meme. The elevators appear to be disabled, which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea. By all means, yes. Hmm? Huh? It seems the guards are storming the building. I would. Right I'm trying to, Don't but you've put a wall in the wall. Why yeah, have yeah, you put enemies yeah. the other side of the fucking wall? I can't kick them from here. Elevator, gotcha. Okay. For security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area. Why do I feel the lower half is going to come off and fight me? For staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed, but that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. <laughs> yes, Lucien, slide to the left. Do, 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 slide to the right. Oh. Okay. Well, uh... Here was, I thought, thinking I'd been clever and found a wall. It was actually just glass. Okay. There's nobody here. It's just the wind. Just the wind. Just the wind. No choice now. It's just the wind. Oh, 
Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't even know you were here. Christ, that is some damage on you. I like it. To for any Not right now, Doctor! I'm trying to get loot out of the floor, if you don't mind, Doctor. Why is there loot stuck in the floor? into it. Are you fucking kidding me? Give us some health. Thank you. Oh, oh I forgot about you. Panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Yes, Doctor, I, I will now. Now that the world has stopped exploding for five and a half seconds. Oh, wait, wait was it in the room up? Oh, it, was, it was in the fucking room with me. Good. One down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. Hang on a minute. There was loot in another room. Yep, this one. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Excellent. Just one more. They keep on coming.
Okay, well, chances of uh, ARing around are quite low at this point, so might as well just run around. If we just blender along every single wall, eventually we'll run into it. I mean, I can try it, but eventually I'm just going to bump straight into one of them. Yeah, yeah. Hi, gentlemen. How you doing? Pepsi! Wait a minute, we found Pepsi! Okay, seriously, is it in here? G gentlemen, please. Okay, we're looking for unusual heat signatures. Aha! Of course! Yes, that should take care of security. Now, head back to the gate. You're really going to make me do this, aren't you? You're really going to make me fight him. Okay. Oh, got to start wearing him down then. Thankfully, uh, I have quite a few rocket launchers. When I'm not being rocketed in the face, that is. Hold on a minute. If I get far enough away from you, you will stop being able to see me. In fact, we can make this better. Damn it! The one time I tried to stealth. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at the uh, description of that grenade again. Right, hang on a minute. No, 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 no. Fuck, fuck what you're gonna say. Jamming grenade, capable of cutting off communications as well as temporary disabling remote-controlled UGs. I'm guessing the autonomous, unmanned gears that are running around aren't somehow UGs then. Use your enhanced AR to search for any Bit confusing, but all right. Inside the walls there. Next decade suggests they are not remote controlled. Ah, so there's a person in there somewhere. Clearly then. We just can't see them at any point. All right, okay. Turning this way, or... Oh. Uh, whoa. Oh, 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 There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your Say nothing. Just the wind. Good. 
One down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. Various numbers suggest that m remote controlled is more like the ball things Mistral used. But the ball things Mistral used are what are driving the crocodile things. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. I mean, I'm fine with them not being affected. I just would like a clearer understanding of what constitutes remote when we're dealing with unmanned mechs. Uh, can I get can I get through this, please? Does the glass exist or doesn't it? What is, what, what, what is happening here? I've broken physics now. For it. Ah, I forgot about their famous 90 degree peripheral vision. Sure, that rocket had already gone off by the time it ordained to hit me, but all right. Nah. Okay. We can fight those things for 10 minutes, or we can actually try and. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Do this realistically. So the alerted condition just doesn't exist in this version. Okay. It is purely... Oh, we've already picked that up now. Okay. The options are purely combat or not combat. Fortunately, you don't have to worry about the arm anymore. I think it persists between restarts. What arm? Okay. Given the... Ch ah, right. Okay, so you're two patrols to his one. Gonna have to fucking speedy Gonzalez this, but it's fine. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Now they're on cautious alert. Now two of them are dead. Of course. Sleep now. Sleep. At the soothing sound of wind. 
Send you to sleep. An electrical panel nearby. Right, okay. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Excellent. Just one more. And I'm pretty sure the last Enemy one was in here somewhere. Oh. Hi. Um. Can I not do the... Oh, the, the shelving unit just chose to vanish. Right, okay then. I can hear it coming as well. I can hear it in the background. It's on its way. There it is. No, not blade mode. That's a wall. Fuck. <laughs> Close enough. Your weaponized shins out of here. Honestly, I used to think the geckos were my greatest nemesis. I think these things have taken that cake. Primarily for stealing my main weapon and using it against me. Raiden, stop reloading. Raiden, Raiden. Raiden, you're slightly too far away, mate. Is he behind me? He's behind me. Oh, hello. I'm sorry about this. I just need a bit of help. There's a man with a large hammer. Yep. Okay. Hi, how you doing? There is a large ape. Again, I could not categorize that, but I know he shouldn't have been there. Stop blocking my kicks, dude. Also, you tiny little hand guy, get out of the way. Hold on, I can you I can ninja run over you. This cancels all your attack. Hang on a minute. I found your weakness. Um where my guy, where is your hitbox? Oh, now I've taken your arm off. I can't do the running over your head thing. I've actually I've kneecapped myself. Right, okay. And he's gone.
Alright then. Please health? Nope. Oh! Oh, I see how it is. Oh! Oh, I see how we're playing it today. I see. We think that just because Ed thought it was a good idea to turn it up to hard mode that we could just start putting spawn camping enemies in the... in the doorway. Well. I think I have a grenade for this situation. Yes, I do. did you cite me? You're in the smoke and I'm in a box. Unfortunately, I know your weakness. You despawn now you don't have an arm. <laughs> Guidance, shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No. Keep them off. I need it this way. Uh, well, it has to be this way. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs. But you, well, your past is most, uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with first world ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average third world child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them, they're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. I like it. He's taking control of his destiny. They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy. Oh, hello. You do not have to fight every enemy you encounter right now. Try and keep moving. But I do need health, Bob. No, his name's not Bob. Boris. I do need health, Boris. Now, if I stand here long enough, will you conclude it's just the wind? What if I was in a box? Okay, nobody suspects a thing. Nope, there's nobody here. There's nobody here. Nobody here at all. God. All right, fine. I'll fight you. 
I might not fight you. I'm, I've died. <laughs> okay. Note to self, don't fight that guy. That guy deserves a promotion. He actually did a fantastic job. They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy. Every enemy you encounter, right? Try and keep moving. Right. So what if, rather than using box, we used barrel? This is an option. Biden, Biden, um, it's fine. Nobody suspects. A okay, now they may suspect a thing. They probably suspect something. Yeah, yeah, thank you. More health. Exactly what I need. Welcome home, Phoenix Raider! Damn it, the cardboard box wasn't effective against bullets! Fuck! I am not fighting a gecko right now, are you bloody joking me? No. me out of the air i'm impressed well done for an unmanned glider with a turret on it you're not doing bad all right where's that fucking gecko i'm going back really well screw me then i guess game Damn it, missed. And I swung, and I missed. And I swung, and I missed again. I swung again, and missed one more time. This went on for several hours. I need health, come back here.
I feel like there's a boss fight at the end of this and I'm not going in with low health. God damn it. Oh, hello. Right. Okay, fine. I guess we're shin kicking then. Still, you douchebag. Those health there. Oh my god, we're doing this. We're doing this. Okay. We have gone full bayonet, ladies and gentlemen. What? Raiden? No. All right then. No. So your your pivoting difficulty isn't great, my dude. You your turning is very very slow. Do you turn faster if I make you jump? No. All right, they just happen to be in a different pattern that time. They genuinely were just in an easier pattern. Okay then. Hi. Right away is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear right Now... Head for the garden. Stuff? No? Okay. So what you're telling me is that the game itself is now saying play Sekiro you parry refusing scrub. I don't want to play Sekiro though. I don't think I can shin kick in Sekiro. <laughs> if I can shin kick in Sekiro I'll consider it.
Oh, come on. I was hoping to hit at least one of them's vitals, please. There we go. All right, then. Bringing it back. Back from the edge. What's up, my dude? Um, I feel like stairs was not a great place to fight. I'm gonna be honest. I seem to be kicking your ass. In a very literal sense. <laughs> what is this next decade? Gotta get back. Back to the bed. Shinobi head. I love how you know me that so well you already know my only goal in life is just to go back to bed. How much health does this man have? My dude! I am impressed. bastard you didn't even no no i needed your health <laughs> you cruel man what am i supposed to do with four what am i supposed to do with four percent hp is there anything here no? Oh, come on. Sorry, why is this... Oh, I thought that was a beam. I, for some reason, thought the tree was giving off a beam, and I'm not entirely sure why. Yeah, maybe I don't go that way. Right, and... I've seen you jump taller than this. R really? <sighs> You're gonna make me go through the rocket man, aren't you? Burning out his fuse up here alone? <sighs> and I feel like it's gonna be a long, long time until this combat is over. I said I feel like it's going to be a long, long time until this combat is over. D Hello? My guy, are you awake? Come fight me. I'm not going in there. <laughs> You're coming out to me. Really? Fine. We'll do this old school. Ah. 
Fuck it. And then restart. Right. Let's try this again, sir. I'm going to carve open the door. And then you are going to... I said I'm going to carve open the door. Right. Hello. How you doing? Now. There we go. You've been cautioned. Finally. Now I can't really... I can't really deal with a shot from you. Ooh, you put your weapon away for a second. I can use this. So when you put your weapon away, at the end of this, I will lob a grenade at you. Genius. Hi there. Really? Fine. No, no, you're not getting any fancy pants on Datsu. I'm just going to kick you. I'm not even going to kick you in the shins. You don't deserve that. Oh, now who look who's happy to climb on buildings, Raiden. Oh. Oh, I see how it is, Raiden. I see how it is. I'm wise to your little games, Raiden. That's a gr I'm so glad I'm up here. I didn't intend to be up here. I didn't realize there was a gorilla up here, but I'm so glad I'm up here. I'm less glad I'm up here now. There we go. Another fucking gorilla. Can I go around the gorilla? Probably. Jack back. Then that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, you are literally Pepsi Man right now. ...is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. I like Blade Wolf. He's the bestest boy. Anything up here? Any stuff I can steal? No? Okay, maybe if I stop messing around with the glass doors. 
Chin is now Chin. Of course. Now I'm interested. Can these guys even be stealth killed? Because it wouldn't let us last time. No. Alright, maybe if I just let him get further. I purely just want to know if they can be. Because the game's never given me much of an opportunity to stealth kill one before. I'm probably just going to brawl my way through this entire area. But I want to know. You've stopped, which means your patrol route is probably going to... Yeah, about face. You can be! Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. All right, then. Any more of you chunky boys? No. Really? There, were, there was three of you. Excellent. Very well done. Wait, his waist is just floating in the air. Was it? I mean, thank you for making me turn around. I genuinely didn't realize there were loot here. There were loot here? There was loot here. Health. Thank you. Honestly, it doesn't seem worth trying to brawl with them because there's only like three of them in total. Aha, gentlemen! We shall make such sweet chin music together. Hang on. What, what, press YB. Or not then. We're just doing an air juggle combo now. Good to know. I was asking where the geckos were. And the game provides. Can I... God damn it. No, not this. No. Oh, the tracking on that attack is something else. Could, could you... If I'm doing the button prompt, the least you could do is let me out of the stun lock before they hit me with another stun lock, and that's all I'm saying. Oh, why I'm not doing very well all this. It's because there's a gecko here. I just suck at fighting the geckos. Am I I'm not going Am I going to die on this sodding elevator? No. No, you are kidding me. I shin kicked. I'm oh, sorry. I chin kicked Monsoon to death. I am not going to die on this bloody elevator. Just. Fucking stop it! This can't be happening. Oh. I see what I did there. I was doing an air combo and he was kicking forwards. I then descended at speed onto his outstretched foot. I'm pretty sure Raden's balls are just gone. We may be in the storm of the sea, but we keep it far more friendly. Cursing is now ping pong. Okay. I can try and work with that. Good bloody got the, the, the heavy hits on you. 
good ping pong and brother and ping pong and cross. Okay, uh, that's one of you. I think I just wormholed through a man in order to gut another man. Oh, and here it is. Oh, here they are. I forgot there were two of you. That makes things actually a bit worse. That makes it so much worse. I, I like, I know, I have a wide variety of rocket launchers and other accoutrements. Wait, does this work? Oh, oh okay, never mind. Try that again. I want that what I want that first guy dead. Let's just go straight for him. With no mercy for him or anybody else who happens to be standing nearby. Because I can deal with the geckos. I can deal with you. I can't deal with you and the geckos. going to ensue in a second. The mooing shall be ensuing. Don't care. Are you the... I'm sorry. Are you the Monty Python Black Knight? Are you going to kick me to death? No, sir. I do not think so. I'm going to steal the spine of your friend. Stop kicking me! That's my thing! Bloody bastard stealing my gimmick! You can ping pong off and all! I'm not having this, no. I, I was just trying to climb. Sir, please. Sir. I'm not dying. I'm not dying again on this ping pong elevator. Ping pong off! I think, I think one of them's AI might have bugged out. Nope, nope. Is this just the health tax? Did I arrive on this elevator with too many health packs now? <laughs> I sincerely, please just stop. <laughs> Now, see, when they did that same attack that gets them stuck in the exact same method a million times earlier, Raiden, could you not have done that then? No, because for some reason you thought it was more important to get stun-locked by the same attack over and over and lightly, gingerly kicked out of very heavy-duty animations. And also inability to basically climb, apparently. That kick was nowhere near me, thank you very much. I'll take it back. I, I, I take back what I said about the crocodiles. Is that what you want? I respect the gecko again. I respecto the gecko. Is that enough? Have you... I had four health packs when I got on this sodding elevator. <laughs> I had four health packs. What happened? 
You're supposed to be stronger than this. I am. I am supposed to be stronger than this. But I am repeatedly kicked in the chin by geckos. Right, no, no. Where are the EMP grenades? I've got to have at least one. Right. Mr. Swordman, just for two seconds, please. Right. See, I do not have an infinite supply of grenades. He, however, does. If you refuse to die, then my boy, you shall become my sword. My weapon against the gecko. Or, or I could just get kicked and stun locked and then kicked again. Okay, let's try this again. This, this, uh, the, <laughs> this elevator. Can I just point out? This elevator is giving me more trouble than the monsoon did. This is an elevator that is tougher than a boss. I is a become I'm Spider-Man. Right, you thought you were watching a, a playthrough of Pepsi Man the New Revolution. You are now watching Spider-Man. Weeb of Shadows? Yeah, Spider-Man Weeb of Shadows. There we go. And here we go. It's hovering in the air. They are defying any known physics now. Oh, what is happening? There's just feet in every direction and Spider-Man is not prepared to deal with this. This man has truly a strange attack pattern. He lightly kicks me. And I just lose... Uh, sorry, and I'm Spider-Man loses his entire combo potential. That's one. Don't think I've forgotten about you. <laughs> I'm coming back for you. But first, I have... Sorry, I'm Spider-Man. Has larger problems to deal with. Spider-Man is going to kick you in the shins until you die or until he does. Spider-Man gives 
No shits! Well, that's hate be shitter man. See this? This is what we were deprived of at the end of uh, of No Way Home. Eh? We were deprived of Spider-Man just going ape shit on someone. <laughs> So I, Spider-Man, will provide you what you missed. feel a bit calmer now. Spider-Man, who is me, feels a bit calmer now. Look out! Incoming! Sh shield? Shield bros? This is nothing. Did, did y'all miss the horror oh, that a man was exposed to earlier? There we go. Now the horror's back again. Hello, crocodile. Hello, you. How you doing? I'm Spider-Man. And welcome to Web Hunt. No. No shields. Not for you. No shields for you. Where did the crocodile go? Did it fall off? Oh, hello, dogs. How you doing? Um, I'm still concerned where the crocodile went. It, uh, did... No, no, no joking now. Legitimately, did the crocodile fall off the elevator? <laughs> I'm starting to think it did. Every Blade Wolf's weakness being kicked in the shins. And realistically, we have Blade Wolf to thank for the discovery of this new fighting style. That's, that's a terrible camera angle. Because without Blade Wolf, we never would have discovered kicking him in the shins. All right, no, seriously, where did the crocodile go? The combat is now over. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, that's why it wouldn't explode earlier. I see. Hi, how you doing? You have shins. I regret to inform you. And I will be kicking them today. It's the only thing I've ever known. There will be shins kicked. And goodbye then. I love that if you leave it there, the spine is just waggling. <laughs> oh, why don't... I'm trying, mate. I'm trying. The platform is losing speed. Scheiße, the time hot are interfering. Guidance, clear them out of the shaft. I don't, you need to work the shaft. Do not let 
Right, gentlemen. Please. I said. I said, get off the elevator. Stop slowing me down. I am on a quest at this point to shin kick the world, and you will not get in my way. This will be a tale of bizarre human triumph. And you're not part of the storyline. Where even is the other elevator anymore? Oh, it's up there. And then it exploded. Yes, Doctor, I'm aware why the platform is losing speed. I'm standing right here. Let me just kill them and get me out of the cutscene, you fool. This is... Oh, this is a lovely camera angle. So the solution, wedge yourself in a corner. If your head is in the way, they can't grab the elevator. You pass through the server room leads right through them. Next decade, you're right, it is a long ass elevator. Well, so far, Seth, in terms of how goes the shin kicking, they have brought out birds, which uh, make it a little bit harder to kick him in the shins, but we're working on it. All geckos are now cows. I mean, they're pretty much worth a bit. Oh, the f oh my God! The elevator's over. I am so appalled with this plan. How many gorillas? Uh, hi. How are you doing? That was weirdly one of the weaker grab attacks I think I've seen in this game. Bye, lads. Rip. Boris. 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 The fu- Boris. Why? They've locked it. They've locked it so you... <sighs> I 
Hi, gentlemen. How you doing? Yes, we're just gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Really? There was like a split-second moment in which you could have moved, and you chose exactly that moment. Pardon. D have you considered maybe not standing still to reload? Um, right when there are giant mechanized gorillas chasing after you. I am aware that if I use Zandatsu or whatever the fuck it's called, then he will snap out of that animation. I just think it's a bit silly that I have to do that when the man could just not stand there. What is happening to the camera right now? I... You know what? Go ahead and grab me. I'm just happy to be visible again. Uh, give it, give, just give it a sec, my dude. There's, um... My dude? Um... Okay, then. Let's just... I, I, I guess we... I, I guess we're doing this, then. <laughs> um... No. No. The reticule was on your face. Right, fine. We'll use the guided one then if he's so useless at this. Say no, no, no. I believe I have all I need for a little surprise. I'm a saddle ninja named Baradin, and I say no, no, no. Give a smell. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Terraria, you're back. Welcome back. For some reason, Twitch is trying to say you're a new chatter, but we saw you last time, actually. Alright. Now, I do gotta ask, what is even going on back here? Bring that arm a bit closer. Never mind. We must have one of those um, electrolyte things. Yes, we do. Okay. I keep forgetting that the gorillas can Captain Kirk dropkick me. <laughs> gorillas are now lethal NFTs. Uh, for some reason, word crimes is buggered up. If I re... Okay, there we go. Manual reset. Just a bit closer, my guy. Seriously? No, never mind. The lethal NFTs do not want to be part of this. 
Which is ironic, because I don't want to be part of the lethal NFTs. Please, please, NFTs. Just. Oh. No, why the, the slide turns against me at the last moment. I don't want to join the yacht club. Ping pong off. It keeps flashing blue, but there's nothing for me to slash. Why are you flashing? Fine, I'll do it when... See? I did it when you told me to... Oh, oh now his arm is broken. You were a little ahead of yourself there, game. Just gonna say. And he was a little bit behind himself because he jumped straight on my fecking attack. I'm gonna kick you in the shins. That's all I'm going to do. I discovered something that works and I am sticking with it, damn it. Oh, that's, uh, the, that's the menu for one thing. Several things happened at once. Boris, let me, let me break it down for you. For one thing, we've gotten stuck here on the elevator of doom once again. Oh, I'm dealing with you first. My new theory is I'm going to save the birds. We're going to make like Birdemic and save the birds. Because we'll use them as health later. We're going to carefully ration out the enemies. So that when Ed needs health, he can do this. But, well, okay, never mind. That's a hammer. Okay. Hang on a minute. Just get out of my way for one thing. I'm... Let's try that again. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Now the scam monkeys should be arriving as he decloaks out of existence. Ah, oh, hello there, gentlemen. How are you doing tonight? No jumping out of your grab animations? Of course not. Right, there goes the last bird. Which is annoying, because I wanted to use it for health. But we'll work with it. It's fine. Right, now can you get up? Yes, you can. Okay, never mind then. Unfortunately, they suffer with corners. So I'm going to take a second and have some rice. Oh my god. No. No. 
No! No! Oh! Oh, I see how it... Oh! You can hit me through the wall as well! Well, fuck you, mate! You wanna have a fracas through the wall? We can do that! Architectural throwdown, motherfuckers! Let's go! I have the power of God and Seth Orvin on my side, for I'm in the wall! Come on! Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough! This wall definitely isn't. Um. What? Hang on. Whoa. 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 What happened there? Hold on. I'm confused. I am very confused. None of the fuck. Now come up here and say that. Oh. Mike, what's wrong? Oh. Come on, buddy. Of course. Me. Write it. Write it. The supreme combo for about half my HP, I see. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. You pass to the The hammer bro is going to drop in. We at least know now that they have a weakness, and their weakness is walls. All we have to do is harness basic architecture. And preferably, not lose all our HP to this lad. Which is harder than it sounds, apparently. Let's try not to get clipped in the face. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. You pass to the Indeed, Dark Rays. The, right the gorilla was just so... The, the lethal NFT was so tired of our wall bullshit that it just instant transmissioned through it. Grabbed us. Let us go. Instant transmission back again. I don't even know how the hell that whole combat went down. But I'm here for it. And I'm gonna do it again. You know I'm going to do it again. Okay, Let, let's not get stuck in the corner. I'm determined to get to the top of this elevator with two health. Right, you know what, actually, fuck this for game soldiers. You pass through the server room feeds right through them. Oh, that! Oops. Huh. You guys seeing this? I mean, I threw this shit and I don't know what I'm looking at here. Zoom in. Is that quiet? Huh. Okay. Anyway, back to the combat.
No, gorillas. Brunette Mouse has arrived too early. It is too soon. You have awakened them too soon, Executus. Okay then. Do we think the boobs work on the gorillas? <laughs> From the top floor to the freight elevators. You pass to the server room feeds right through them. I cut that, you dickhead. I need to stop trying to jump over him. I need to stop trying to jump. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. You pass through the server room feeds right through them. Hammer bro, you're going to have to be the first to die because at this point I can't really fight the birds with you pissing about. And I need to try and keep the birds around as healing items. Even though I miss every single time, I'm determined to at least try. Because there's the potential for using them as healing items, so I'm going to. You're now going to die. And let's try, at least try, and get some healing. Can one of you please come down to a more reasonable height? Yes. No, 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 get back it. No, not. Mm. I hate you. I hate you so much, you stupid birds. Why are you not dead yet? Stop, 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 stop shoulder barging me. Apparently, that's... We've been on this elevator for longer than we were on Monsoon. I get it, it comes after Monsoon, but it's still just the... The whole, like, oh, it's the skill ceiling. Like, no, a, a, a lift. A means of transportation. I say again, is a greater boss. Am I going to, is this elevator going to get legs and I'm going to have to fight it at the top of this building? Because that's where I'm seeing this going at this point. It's Metal Gear. Everything gains legs in the end. Okay. Now. Please. What just exploded? Phone, shut up. I'm kind of busy right now.
gonna use one of you boys as a healing item, I suppose. And there's the monkey, so we can just throw that plan in the bin. Now all efforts must be run away from Monkey Man. Or, alternatively, hang on a minute. Gentlemen, follow me. G gentlemen. Really? Not this again. No. Not this again. Fine. Okay, where's the rocket launcher? It pains me to do this, gentlemen. But probably not as much as pain you I'm gonna pain you. Oh, we've uh, we don't have any normal grenades, damn. How did I not see it coming? Uh, right. The why are we holding a small jumping jamboree over in the corner when we should be running away from fucking gorillas? No, no, no. Bastard. Not you. I just want to use the bird to heal once, <laughs> so I can flip them the bird, as it were. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevators. You pass through the server room feeds right through them. I'm going to stop chatting for a bit and just try and game it, boy. This. He doesn't even have an arm, Raiden. You don't need to stand there in stunned awe that he's hitting you. Birds are now regret pinatas. How are you not dead yet, my father? My fellow, please stop. Ah, of course, in eternal stun lock. And pounded into the floor. Two gorillas. I'm gonna go Budsies. Welcome to the Empire. Sorry that this is your welcome. Um, 
You have come across me going in full Ed Smash mode where I resolutely refuse to learn to parry. Mostly because I can't. God knows I've tried. Over the years, in various games, and I just can't do it. So my only recourse is flailing around like a loony. I'm sorry, what stunned me there exactly? You're joking. I wasn't even aiming at you. And also you're joking. That was that was enough to... Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone. That's one gorilla. Oh. Wait, uh, wait a moment. Get over here. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, come, come this way. Basically, because the hammer bro is still alive and just enough of the health of the bird or regret pinata rather, it's not spawned the second gorilla. It's just spawned in one of them because only a requisite number of enemies were dead. Normally, if you're going completely schizo mad boy, everything would be dead in, in order for it to summon the next wave. But because not quite enough is dead, it's not spawned the second gorilla. We have a chance. It separated them. I think we're alone now. There only seems to be you and me around. I think I'm getting pwned now. Whoops. I'm going to stop singing before you put me in the ground. Why the blue flash? He's not broken yet. Game, you need to stop. You need to stop getting ahead of yourself with that one. It's kind of distracting. Ah, oh, the power bomb. I see. Correct me if I'm wrong, that is a four hit combo. That is some heavy, heavy hits. And okay, there was a wall there. Lumion Games suggests maybe because you're in Ripper mode. I'm not in Ripper mode. So your argument is immediately false, I'm afraid. Okay, am I just... Am I just somehow un... un Raiden, what happened? You are supposed to be stronger than... Hold on, hold on a minute. I swear I had 0.5% health there. I think I just died with health left. Yeah, Leopard saying, wait, you still had health. Yeah. I'm not going mad. I died with health. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. This elevator may well be driving me mad, but I'm not that far gone yet. Good to know. Oh, yes, of course. The, the second gorilla came in to kill me. That's what it was. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out, chat. I didn't see him. Of course. That second gorilla, he's like John Cena. I just can't see him.
Really? Really? Gorillas are now the Spanish Inquisition because no one should have seen the second one coming. Wait, hang on. No, you were supposed to... What? I was not expecting the Spanish Inquisition to have this bad pathing. That's fine. That's fine. You grabbed me while we were, we were just hovering for a second there. Don't think I didn't notice that. Thought we wouldn't notice. But we did. You get stuck. I was wrong. this again of course the combo that is almost my entire health bar and that's the arm i left him with i had to get through the sewers i had to beat more of these things how i think it's the chain of like yeah so scalabate's got it right their pathing goes from non-existent to ultra-precise as soon as a grab gets involved. Could I please leave the corner at some point, game? No? Okay. What? 
of all... I am... I, my brother in Christ, I am asking you to slice vertically downwards, and you slice vertically leftwards and vertically rightwards. Just slice what's in front of you! When I press the press... When I press the press... When I press the slice what's in front of you button. That would help, right? With the whole precision cutting business. I'm just saying. Get out of my feckin' way for once. And when I'm not aiming, I can do it. Right, what's the betting that's enough to summon one monkey? Speak of the devil, and he shall arrive. That, what, camera, camera, come back to me, come back to me, camera. Now there's only one of you to deal with. And I know that he is shit at getting stuck on things. Ah, oh, he's back. Hello. Did he just land in the ceiling? Apparently not. Back up, rockets. Grab it. Mm, not this. Well, okay then. I think the bird just helped. I think the... I genuinely think the bird just rocketed it. I'm not imagining this. The bird is helping. Oh, that's what killed me earlier. The hitting the ground of... The of course, if the whole choke slam combo wasn't enough, the kick hitting the ground after the combo also hurts you. Right! Which means the second one is probably going to drop in any moment now. I said... The second one will drop in any moment now. Really? So, oh, oh, hello. <laughs> nice of you to drop in. Remind me, what's the button prompt for Ripper mode? I want to see if it will work through this. Of course, not even the walls can prevent shin kicks. Both thumbstick buttons, all right. Oh, that's a shame.
no. Okay. Stop it with the drop kicks. You stop using my techniques against me. Gimmick stealing dickhead. I will not have this patter there outside of Twitter. I've completely forgotten what the word crime in the corner is. I'm sorry. I have monkey business on the brain Armon that was it we've renamed the gorillas to the Armon clan the drop kick of course the drop kicks this is the black knight of the Armon clan I, I'm sorry the tracking on that no no this is not happening again no I'd rather go fight the hammer bro Dropkick's homing! How are the Dropkick's homing? Exactly! Seth! Seth has it right! They are more powerful without their arms! Why am I attacking you? Hang on a minute, we, we know how to do this now. Just kill like a bird. And of course you give me the prompt and I'm immediately smacked out of the air. Immediately, immediately. Let's get you stuck. What is kind of amazing to me as well is the sheer amount of rockets and various different accoutrements we can pump into this thing. And for a start, it dodges them. Of course it does. But does it even do anything when they do hit? Well, it, I mean, it did more damage to him. Come, at least one of you just come over here. Thank you. All right, we're going to get a shin kick counter going. How many shin kicks does it take to kill a gorilla? He stuck himself in a loop now. If you think I'm not going to do this as my sole means of... Well, we broke something.
Hello? Are, are you okay back there? I can't really see you, but I'm hoping you're doing all right back there. You've been a good... F You've been a good friend these years. Something else broke. We're two broken things in. Right, how's he doing? That's, that's a blue arm. Oh. Well, hello there. That's two blue arms. Of course. I didn't move when I tell you to move. Jesus Christ. I got another. You do have another. However, I'm leaving. Right, there goes Burb. So we should be down to just the one. I'm gonna beat this boy with tactics and strategy. Prepping the electro... Actu... Wait a minute. Wait a fuckity wuckity second. Behold! Boobs! The gorilla is not distracted by boobs. you now. The gorilla's just like, I do not wish to be horny anymore. I simply wish to kill the Mecha Ninja. Many thought they could kill the Mecha Ninja, but they failed when they were stricken down by the shin kicks through the wall. I have no moral fiber. I would... I would happily sit here and do this for the rest of the night if it will kill you without incident and save me a health kit because frankly I need it. It's, it's kind of amazing that even on hard mode, the shin kick continues to be a bit overpowered. Uh, let's, let's just move you a bit this way. No, this way. He's trying. He's trying to break... We are at nearly 30 shin kicks. He's trying to break out. It, Monkey is smart today. Okay, something broke. We're getting there. All we need to hope is he doesn't do instant grabs mission again. Ha <laughs> 
robotics suggest he is going to drop kick through the wall. Given that we know Gorilla 2 likes to favor the feet more than the arms. Yeah. I wouldn't be I wouldn't put it past Gorilla 2. Gorilla 2 is a sneaky boy. We are imbuing this one NPC gorilla with way more personality than I think the game has given some of its own antagonists. How is he doing? I think it's I think it's only an arm at the moment. I am sorry to the VOD audience, I truly am, but at the same time, I don't care. Something broke. Something broke. What broke? I'm trying to get a look at him. That's a, that's both arms. Both arms are broken. We're, work, we're working him down. The power of wall compels you. We've lost lock. Target lock has been established. Don't even don't even start on one. How his arms are broken but not his legs is unknown to man nor beast. Something just I think something broke though. I think that was a leg. Oh, oh, oh he's met he's, he's on his way in. How about no? How about I just... Well, okay then. I mean, I'm over here. What is this pathing? No, I keep pressing A rather than X. You moved! Oh, 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 okay. It's fine. I rarely use this these days. Mostly because I have to mute it when it comes to the VOD. That was the screaming sound of his shins. And Raiden's at this point. The two gorilla. I don't want to know how many attempts that took. <laughs> What should I expect but I'm willing to bet if that is actually going to be the hardest fight we have. It's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah. Like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed, something like that. There's a random tidbit to drop in there. Of rank and file staff who may hear it, and I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If he wants a fight. I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's I've doing, been tested won't enough. What's going to happen once I finally catch up with him? My dude, I have been tested enough. Oh, thank you. What? Miss Troll? You you closed the door. A spear body if I had to get like I was cheesed by a door. 
I refuse to be defeated by a door. Right. What? Now you're not going to sneak me with a door. No. A severe body if I had to get lightly controlled by an AI. How is this fight going to work, though? There's no pipes for her to hide on this time. Chat, stop making handy jokes. <laughs> it's handy she had a spare body, etc. The poor woman's been through enough. At our hands alone. It's off. The stick down! Trust me, honey, my ticks. My, my ticks? I don't have ticks. I, I was going to say my kicks are too much for you to handle, but I've, I've butchered my own joke. Wait, wait, I can save it? I'm currently fast enough to have moves. My tits are too much for you to handle. There we go. <laughs> that was the joke I was going with this entire time. I didn't have to salvage that halfway through. Not at all. What are you talking about? Did I just fall on... I fell on a healing item, didn't I? I am far closer than that, but alright. This gives me more run up to shin kick you. Hit back 
here. I never thought I'd say this, but I think this fight is actually more annoying without the pipe segment. Just get down here so I can finish her off, please. You have like a few percent health left. Just give up. Please. Make like that gorilla should have done several years ago and just give in. Thank you. Okay. Right. Uh, are we quite done in here? Okay. Okay. I'm going to say... BD yeah. Of course. And the spell will soon? Well, if they are controlled, it should pose no problem for you, yes? I bloody well am, Blaine. Apologies for the silence. I am, uh... Not sure how this one exactly works. In terms of... I mean, he's not going to have things to throw at me, so... No. No, there we go. Really? This again? This again. Fine, I'm going to have to just miracle kick your face then, I suppose. Or we could do this. This is not helping. So, about the whole no EMP grenades thing. Oh, okay.
At this point, I don't stand a freaking chance because he's not going to do the magnetic phase. Which is a significant problem in that it is exactly in and entirely how we beat him originally. I just have to hope he has less HP this time. My theory is that the game registers a certain amount of failed attacks on him when you don't have a uh, when you don't have an EMP grenade, and then just sort of gives you the miracle strike. But because most of our attacks are shin kicks, that makes things a little bit on, to say the least. Really? Yeah, okay, okay. There was no way we were doing that first time through. Okay. Let's go. Now I have a strange theory. Ah, damn. I thought I, could, I thought I might be able to farm those. So I'm going to have to fight Mistral and Monsoon back to back. Basically, I can't lose a life on Mistral now. I only have the one EMP grenade, which really sucks. Did anyone leave any EMP grenades lying around? No. All right, then. How's the audio settings? I love this game's soundtrack, but we're going to need something a bit longer winded.
have arrived. There's one health kit, but I'm not going to trust it because I've done that before. I have made this mistake before. There he is. I'm just trying to remember where the walls are so I can try and sp try and spawn him in the walls. It didn't work exactly. Knocked straight out of the air because, of course, yeah, yeah. Soon. I'm waiting for that second smoke. Oh, no, we got a second ghost before we got a second. No, no, we didn't even get a second ghost. There's second ghost. Murder pants, murder pants. How does this work then? Like, so he's doing the the fog while in ghost mode. Like, does he have a different move set in here? Or? Oh shit. I don't want to know what that was. Uh oh, no, no. I'm getting. Okay. The whole rotation thing I don't think is actually helping any more than just wiggling it. Good fucking lord, that kick has range. The Shin!
Okay, we're going to turn the music back on now. Raise your shins to the skies, my friends. We have ascended. I love that no one cares what Sundown is saying. I'm not listening to you. I'm just very slowly going towards those stairs. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They can kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get to shine a new body as a graduation present. Oh. Oh, okay, and teleport us back across the room so we can walk across it again. Shows this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this. Code of conduct no that. Kids, you can yeah, have the rest time. Manipulated to perform an Thank all you, kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. <laughs> Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11! What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. But why was why was it okay to deliver half the monologue here? Raiden, get Sundowner. Do not lose him this time. <laughs> Sundowner is now Shindowner. You got it. We have passed the vigor check. We've per... I know this location. I know this location. Thank you. The one on this side? No. Um, hi? Hi there. Um, you, you doing okay there? Okay then. Um, I'm just gonna leave you lads to it. Why do I get the feeling he's not supposed to be that red? Merchandise. What happens in three hours? 
<laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful. I actually really like your facial animation. Again, you and Jet, you and Jetstream Sam, are just smiley boys. Shin Downer. Who are you fucking? Remind me. Oh, I thought you were going to stream. I'm fucking invi- Oh my god. Am I supposed to be seeing it for this, or...? Oh, okay then. There we go. I'm not sure I have to beat that shield. I can just kick you in the bum. No, because I don't have a full bar. Hang on a minute. Fine, I'll go and use this thing so I can have a full bar. So we can but hope that... don't have it up. I'm not surprised I can't break that shield. You don't have a shield up. Welcome to the Empire, Mizen. Mizen. Oh, one the two.
Right, and if you could jump a little bit faster, bud, that'd be appreciated, really. up the shield for me to attack then please if that's the gimmick of your fucking fight thank you i should have gone downwards Fuck. the fact it's insisting on a full bar of charge each time is a little bit much show you where to attack so it does not detonate if you can only hit the right spot with your blade maybe you can drop his gun Put the shields up then. Hello? Jindana, wake up. I don't need to. Oh, well done. You finally actually put up your shields. Now, if you could do that, you know, any day where it's possible to hit you, that would be appreciated. Or putting them up at a 90 degree angle, that works too. Next decade. I don't think he will ever put his shield up if you're behind or beside him. Which is fair. Except for the fact that when we're in front of him, all he does is the charge attack. This one. Which is too fast to do. Unless you're meant to parry it. I'm doubtless you're meant to parry it. You can be cooler than that, Jack. Um... What just happened? And the right stick fails me again. Your body should analyze it for you. Show you where to attack so it does not detonate. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe you can drop his gun. Trying to charge up, do you mind, sir? So the latest in unexplained MGR game mechanics, holding the blade mode will give you a preview of it. Again, it just says flick right stick to do blade mode. It does not say that holding it will preview it. I wonder if that's the same for the button presses. Let's have a look. Put your shield up. She shield. Shield. There we go. No, pressing the button causes it to just fire. Okay. 
So the only way that you can aim aim, which is basically this entire boss, is using the right thumbstick in a held manner, which as far as I can tell, I'll have a look at the button prompts again, is not prompted in any way. Truly, you are the Psychomantis of MGR. This isn't even low energy from the monsoon fight beforehand. I'm just disappointed in you, Sundowner. Well, no, because I don't have the charge to, you fucking idiot. That's not something to be proud of. That's just a statement of fact. Just a... Like an inch. An inch closer, my guy. There we go. Stay there. Thank you. There is no point. Actually, hang on a bit. I just got at it. You told me to try and hit you, and I got the electrolytes for it. But what if I want to? Shields, use them. Thank you for finally letting me play with your boss mechanic by putting up the goddamn shield. Nice. Just hit me! Raiden! Did you just throw part of the scenery at me? <laughs> oh, great. I hope some. Not. How. How. Is that a. Is that a mid boss checkpoint? This. This man! has a checkpoint. The two bosses back to back do not. Yes. 
You don't deserve a checkpoint. I'm going to kick you in the shins. Get up, I'm not done with you yet! Get back here! So, once you've hit me once with it, I'm not allowed to stand up fast enough to jump over you hitting me the next time with it. Okay. Gotta dodge all of them then. Helpful. No, you didn't. Give it to me. That thing. Your dark point. And now we're Space Harrier. What's wrong? Answer me. Raiden! Raiden! Sudden shift into Space Harrier. Okay. I'm enjoying how the debris is 90% behind smoke clouds. So you basically can't see it coming for most of it. 
I think they think this bird moves faster than it does. Because similarly to the running, it doesn't corner very well. You somehow managed to sync word crimes and ride on! <laughs> Is there a draw distance thing I'm missing at some point? Because as far as I know, the graphics are on high. Time it just works. Okay then. Hi. That's all you get. Very deeply disappointed in you, Sundowner. Attaboy. Jack. What happens in three hours? He'll launch operation. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the, the, the fact that he has landed sort of waving at us <laughs> is, um, is <laughs> rather ruining the scene. I have a call to make. <laughs> Got yourself shaving? Epic Man Drip, welcome aboard. Well, you get your wish. Up to you now. So. Is anyone familiar with the right. Tom Cardi song, I, I Really Want to High Five? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting off him right now. I will be there soon. Hurry. Right. What Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9 11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's going to spike demand for PMCs, it's got to be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. The longer it's there, it <laughs> He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The War on Terror Part 2. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels will take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevers Muzna, impossible. It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. 
Contact Solus. Rotten. Pull my finger. Don't leave a bear hanging. Please, slap my hand. I really want a high five before I die. Uh, effectively, Seth, Sundowner refused to engage with his own boss mechanic on a level that I truly despise. Given how much I was looking forward to him. He just made the whole thing painful. Because he wouldn't do the fucking mechanic. Exactly as Bartik says, I wasn't even trying to cheese him. I wanted to play his mechanic for once because it wasn't about parrying. And the one that I was invested, the Ed curse, it's the Ed curse, the one that I was invested in, the one that I wanted to play, the one that I'd been looking forward to. Instead, was just boring and also had checkpoints where for some reason the two bosses back to back one of which being monsoon did not no i do not want to customize raiden's body i'm happy with pepsi man We'll watch the cutscene, and then we'll close it out. Cargo's all set to and then I really will be back Excellent. Friday. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. You know, also, there was one weird occasion where his charge just bugged out and we got like a QTE out of it. I don't really understand how that worked. They can reroute today's flight, no problem. Amazing. The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle. But just one time he charged me, and for some reason I got a QTE out of it. It was fun. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast. Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. That's fine, just throw a ride now. Missiles incoming! Say Germans aren't funny. I like you, Doctor. Run right about now is when I'd be screaming I was kidding about throwing Raiden at them, but knowing this game by now, it's fine. It's just part of the course, really. Are you going to... No. Are you going to make me play a flying segment? Are you going to make me dogfight? We did just randomly turn into Space Harrier. I don't know if you're going to make me suddenly do a dogfighting simulator.
Oh, that is a sight for sore eyes. Welcome back, Metal Gear Rising. Okay, I'm coming back. This is easier said than done, you know. We've missed you, Metal Gear Rising. Welcome back. Brian, your house is a bit heavy. Um. Tracer. I am sorry, my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And in the next chapter, Doctor boldly fights Jetstream Sam by himself. Ball, and that is where we will be dropping off for today. I'm gen- like... I never really know how to address these ones where... I have acted as if I would when I am a player player. And I have just... sat and smashed. Until it falls over. In the way that I want it to fall over. I'm genuinely sorry about that. Like, I understand that's not the the most stimulating to watch for the last six hours. Because it has been six hours. Apparently. Seth is saying that, uh, unfortunately, yes, World Marshal Building is the least favorite level in the whole game, capped off with a very disappointing Sundowner fight. I mean, I think it's weird, because Sundowner, for me, was disappointing, because I knew how, I, I knew the shape of his fight. I knew it was about shields and I knew it was about all that kind of exploding stuff because of what I've encountered of Sundowner in other games, right? So I was actively looking forward to Sundowner's fight, not because of his plot buildup, but because of what I thought his mechanics were from having heard about them. Because this is the parry based game. The one boss people complain about because he's not about parrying. Or well, surely that one's going to be my fucking jam. And no. <laughs> he offends me by stealing checkpoints that goddamn Monsoon and Mistral deserved. And honestly, he just refused to use his own boss mechanic. <laughs> he's just bad. He was just so boring. <laughs> I was fully expecting to have to kill him with chip damage because all he would do is just turn around and never put up the shield or when I had no charge he put up the shield. So he shielded when you can't hit him and he didn't do it when you can. It's like someone wrote his code the wrong way around. Honestly, kind of amazing. Kind of amazing. However, we have learned we have learned some important lessons. We have learned some important lessons. We have learned, for example, that there are hidden buttons or hidden ways of using a button. As far as I know, when going through the uh, like, here's how you use sub weapons the first time around. They didn't mention that if you tap the button, it uses it immediately rather than uh, having to aim it. That was really helpful. Some of the time with uh, old Monsoonie. And to my understanding, there hasn't been something on how to aim the uh, blade slice, like uh, with the, the thumbstick. It just seemed to be flicking it versus clicking it. They just seemed to be the same thing. Whereas now I understand that there is an aim functionality. Again, I'm just saying, as, as Mr. Literal Autist over here, maybe a button prompt with the, you know, right stick to free aim mode, and just underneath it, brackets, hold right stick to aim free mo aim mode, or something along those lines. Would have been nice, would have been appreciated. In terms of difficulty, I'm going to throw my hands up. Yeah, I know I'm playing on hard and all that kind of shiz. Oh, TB Sliver, you've raided right at the end, mate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 
Oh, I'm sorry, TB. But thank you very much. And thank you to Lucian for the raid and the host. And thank you to Turbo for the raid and the host. You guys have been really, really adorable and appreciative. Thank you very much for joining. It has been emotional. Not quite as happy emotions as the last stream, but I think we're through the worst of it now. I think we needed this one. So love you all. And farewell.